five body parts grown onto unrelated parts. Number five. In summer 2015, an 87-year-old Texan man, Frank Reyes, almost lost his hand after a freak accident while changing a tire. Doctors initially tried a conservative approach, cleaning and bandaging the wound, but infection set in and most of his index finger had to be amputated. Because of that, in order to save his hand, doctors had to cut his hand free of its temporary home and shaped some of the abdominal tissue and skin to cover it. Reyes spent three weeks with his left hand surgically tucked under a pocket of tissue in his belly to give it time to heal and form a new blood supply. The doctors explained that surgeries like this, temporarily attaching one body part to another or tucking it under skin, are by no means new, but they are uncommon. They are used on the battlefield, in trauma situations, and increasingly in research as a way to incubate lab-grown body parts from scaffold-like materials. Number 4. In November 2013, Zhao Wei from China had his hand cut off in an industrial accident. When he was brought to the hospital, the doctors decided that they could not simply put the hand right back where it came from, as tissues of the severed area were greatly damaged. Instead, they grafted the hand to Wei's lower left calf and connected it to blood vessels in the region to keep the tissue alive. The operation was a race against time to get the blood supply back to the severed hand. After about a month, the blood vessels and tendons in Wai's arm healed and the doctors reattached the appendage to its original limb. Wai had been reported to be able to move his fingers a little bit after the reattachment, but had to continue rehab to try to recover full use of the hand again. Number 3. In November 2016, a plastic surgeon in China had successfully grown an artificial ear on a man's arm in a pioneering medical procedure. The patient, surnamed Ji, lost his right ear in an accident in 2015 and yearned to have it back. After the initial checkups, Dr. Go decided to carry out a three-step surgical procedure for Mr. Ji. In the first step, Dr. Go and his team embedded a skin expander under Mr. Ji's right forearm. In the second step, they took the cartilage from Mr. Ji's ribs to fashion a new ear before planting the artificial organ in the patient's right forearm. In the third step, which is yet to be carried out, the doctors are set to move the fully grown ear from Mr. G's arm to his head using the vascular anastomosis techniques. According to Dr. Go, the most difficult part of the procedure was the second step, which had been applied on Mr. G and was deemed a success. Number two, this image is not from some horror movie. It is real science. After this man's nose was irreparably damaged from infection, his doctors decided to grow a second nose on the man's forehead to replace the original nose. The 22-year-old identified as Zhao Lian had his nose damaged from an infection following a car accident. As surgeons were unable to repair his severe nasal trauma, the only alternative was to take cartilage from his ribs, cut it into the shape of a nose, place it onto Zhao Lian's forehead, and grow new skin over it. When the new nose was completely developed, it would be taken off from his forehead and replacing the damaged original nose. Number 1. In 2013, a team of Chinese medics have given a teenage girl a new face after growing it on her breast. Zhu Mei, 17, was left horrifically disfigured by a fire when she was just five years old. At first, Miss Zhu's parents were unable to afford to pay for her to have plastic surgery but she was given hope when doctors offered to carry out the pioneering operation for free. The transplant team implanted a blood vessel from Zhu's leg into her chest and then used a water-filled balloon to expand her skin to create enough to make her new face. After an eight-hour surgery, they successfully replaced her old face's rigid scars with new smooth skin.